Well, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas all over the country, especially in Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, where they've taken that famous song to heart. Actually, they believe the song's composer took Yarmouth to heart. Here's Tom Murphy. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It's a Christmas classic. It's beginning to look that's better. Like Christmas. Somehow that tune makes Yarmouth especially Christmassy because that song, made famous by the likes of Perry Como, the candy canes and silver lanes aglow, was written about their town, or so Yarmouthians believe. That's what I grew up being told. The story goes that back in the 1940s, when you could get a room at the local Grand Hotel for about seven bucks a night, a Broadway composer, Meredith Wilson, stayed here, gazing out on nearby Frost Park. The old hotel has since been replaced, but 89-year-old former bellhop Robert White is still around. He says he thinks he remembers Wilson being there. Coincidence? He thinks not. Whoever wrote that Christmas song, stayed in the Grand Hotel, because there was a, a tree in the Grand Hotel. Now there's a tree in the Grand Hotel. One in the park as well. A one in the park as well. So it had to be somebody that stayed there. Yeah, I, I thought it was. A lot of people did too. The truth is, no one knows for sure one way or the other. Try as they may, music historians have not been able to determine the inspiration for the song. White can only find a Wilson by another name in the guest register. But in Yarmouth, no matter. I choose to believe that it's true. You're laughing at me, I got a broom. In Yarmouth, you believe. And why not? In a community that has fallen on some tough times, a little notoriety can go a long way. You know, we're world famous now. You know, there's a tree in the Grand Hotel, one in the park as well. Um, just over my back shoulder here, you can see the Grand Hotel. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. So is it beginning to look a lot like Christmas now? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> and after all, isn't Christmas a time for believing? Tom Murphy, CBC News, Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. Yeah!